They welcomed her like a celebrity, and interviewer Tina Brown invited her to comment on the US election. President Trump is the President of the United States, and I respect that. She took care not to renew her criticism. I'm here as a guest in the United States just now, but <laughs> I want to be allowed back in in future. Um... <laughs> but she praised Germany's Angela Merkel for standing up to the president and heaped praise on his defeated rival who she met backstage. I, I look at Hillary and... You know, what she's, she's been a trailblazer for women in politics, whatever you think about her politics. But she has made it easier for women like me in politics. And I think for that, uh, I and women across the world really owe Hillary Clinton a debt of gratitude. The First Minister was asked to explain why Holyrood has three female leaders. Something in the water. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, it... <laughs> um, or, or something in the whiskey. I yeah, know. something in the whiskey and to describe her relationship with Theresa May. We both like shoes, which is a good starting point, I think. Um. <laughs> she criticised the treatment of female politicians in the media after this front page. So this you know, tendency to reduce women to body parts or to what they wear or what their hair looks like is, is not innocent and it's not something we should just laugh off. It is a deliberate attempt to demean women and we should speak out about it. So right. Overall, her contribution was well received. Oh, she was actually my favourite person speaking today. Oh my God, mm, perfect. She was really good. I love what she had to say, you know. Mm, we need more women like her. Awesome. Yeah, I loved her. Overseas endorsement for a politician billed here as Queen of Scots. Glenn Campbell reporting Scotland, New York.